I guess it's on. <laughs> that was boogie. Did you see that? Ba- that was good. <laughs> We're back in. Wow, that was quick. Did you, cut, did you cut the music? I, I did. <laughs> yeah, I didn't touch anything. I don't know how. Oh, did you cut the music or we get disconnected? <laughs> I feel like we got disconnected. No, you're here. My music stopped for some reason. <laughs> that tripped me out. <laughs> Uh, he looks over at me. I, just like, I couldn't figure I out what was a going button. on. He put, I used to have buttons, and it was never good. I know. Sorry about that. <laughs> it, that's okay. That <laughs> was a, a good one. I am a button pusher. It was never good. You notice somebody yeah. over here with us. Like, if I was sitting next to you, Owen, I'd be touching all that stuff over there. Hey, we got to thank a good friend of ours, Chris Rigby, and the patron's caddy. If you guys are looking to book your trip to the Masters 2019, it's going to be a star-studded field as usual. Uh, visit thepatronscaddy.com today. Tell them Golf Talk Radio with Mike and Billy sent you. You can call uh, Chris Rigby, the president of the Patrons Caddy, 416-627-9020. That's 416-627-9020. And rumor has it that the Golf Talk Radio houses are full. Oh. You know, the ones that we're going to have yeah. if we have people going. Yeah. So they sold those out. So there's other packages available. And there's maybe still some in that package, just those houses that Got it. we had dibs on Yeah, are full. Ah, well, that's the way it goes. That's well, yeah, hey, Mike. Good for them. Yep. Yeah, absolutely. Yes. It's awesome. Uh, I wanted to thank you and Billy again, because uh, I didn't get a chance to thank Billy for the very uh, kind and uh, generous uh, Christmas gifts you sent me. Yeah, That was man. very, very cool. So you, thank you both. Are you, you deserve it. Are you coming this way sometime? Yeah, we're going to make plans. Obviously, we're going to make plans pretty soon to come over to the Earth Coast and... Uh, uh, I'd like you to probably, if you were available, maybe have dinner with uh, with the girlfriend and I. It would be an honor. Sweet. We'd love to do that. We'd love to and do that, And maybe we zip man. down to Disneyland. What do you think of that? <laughs> if you're paying. <laughs> <laughs> you <should. laughs> That's great. Uh, so um, we just we have been doing this segment for a long time, and, we, and it's called Joke Around, and we give rounds of golf. And we'd have callers call in with their joke, and we yeah. would, remember it was a bag of teas from a small bucket of balls, up to a full round of golf on a weekend, right? We had up. So right. now, since we don't have the caller situation as much as we did, we're going to tell jokes and we're going to all, jo- you know, have to be honest judgment. And the winner will play for one of our listeners, right? So the first listener comes in and says, you know, joke winner will send them the prize. Right? There we go. Yeah. And you can, you'll submit that through golftalkradio.com yep. on the trivia form. All right. You guys ready? I have not read this you joke. Know- <laughs> I did, I'm not a good joke teller, which is You're funny because I think I'm quite a funny guy. You are. You're quick witted, uh, though. But not when you read the joke. I'm not really, really bad at this. You need so some we'll, inner, more inner dimples or something. I have. <laughs> you got the outer dimples. You need but inner. They're just full of fat. They're, they're <laughs> there. They're <just laughs> there. All right, here we go. Well, Owen's focused. Look at Owen's. He's, I know, he's, he's, really co- he's over there with his judge mind. Nobody's mark. read these yet, have they? I have not. Okay. I just cut and pasted. All right, here we go. An older couple, couple was bickering back and forth one day after the, after the husband's affection for the game of golf. You think so much about your golf game that sometimes I wonder if you even remember the day we got married, the wife said indignantly. Wow, she was mad. She's like, dude, She's you don't remember anything. P-O'd. Yeah, she did not like the golf. The husband threw his head back and scoffed. Ha! Of course I do, my dear. It was June 15th, 1965. I'd never forget the day I shot 68. <laughs> it was the best round of my life. All right, so don't boom. Tsh, tsh. All right. All right. Well, I don't know. Owen, you? All right. Yeah, Owen's up. So he remembers the day I got it. It was okay. Not bad. I got a good one here. Oh, you have your own. So you, but it's you, a little, it's but a little, you could have rehearsed yeah. it. I didn't really. All right, that's the I, had to, I had to check to make sure. And there I am was telling no, you, honesty is part of my integrity yeah. here. And I just had to make I sure. I have not there read was, mine. No, I just wanted to make sure there wasn't a surprise. But didn't that. you print it out? Yeah, but I didn't. I just cut and paste. <laughs> okay. Yeah, I'm sitting there. I, I, I'm point, standing Owen. over the printer. Going, <laughs> no, I just cut and pasted, pulled out the sheet, and threw it in the box. Thanks, Owen. That was awesome. You're doubting my integrity, aren't you? <laughs> Give me this thing. <laughs> that was great. I have not read mine. <laughs> Oh, All right. I wouldn't lie about that. Good call. You'll you'll know as soon as I read it. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> an amateur golfer was talking. But to his in teaching. the mic, on you're, I mean, you're an amateur golfer was talking to his teaching pro. How do you get so much backspin? The anxious Am asked. Before I answer that, tell me how far do you hit a five iron? The pro responded, I don't know, probably about 130 yards. The amateur replied. The pro cocked his head to the side, bemused, and said, Then why in the world would you want a, the ball to spin back? <laughs> Well, see, we're a tough job. <laughs> <laughs> Actually, it was quite cute. But I, I like that I one. didn't want to give him the benefit of the doubt. <clears throat> I like that one. All right. 
Here's mine. Jake's wife asked him why he doesn't play golf with Tom anymore. Jake responded to her question with, with one of, of his own. Would you continue to play with a guy who always gets drunk, who loses so many balls, other groups are always playing through, telling lousy jokes, it does sound a lot like me here, while you are trying to putt and generally offend everyone around you on the golf course? Certainly not, dear, his wife replied. Jake nodded with his head and said, well, neither did Tom. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> ah! There you go. That good. Hey, that's John Candy. <laughs> right? Uncle, Uncle Buck. That was John Candy. All right, well, that wasn't bad. Let's good see. laugh from John And Candy. I got the names right. I thought I, I, one time I tried to put your name and stuff involved yeah. in it, and I just messed it. So, all right, what do you, what do you got I there, I have a Hop? story. So, Mike, I'm going to give yours a six. Ow, out of ten? Out of seven. <laughs> <laughs> oh, and seven, seven and a half. Oh, Man, I, got a, I got a D. What did you give oh, yourself? I got a C plus. Oh, we got to get here, Hops. Hop, go ahead. Uh, two golfers are talking, and one says to the other, Hey, I got a new set of clubs for my wife. And the other golfer says, excellent trade. <laughs> That's a he likes short but sweet. I like that. You <laughs> can't right. get lost in that one. All right, so let's just judge hops first real quick. What do you got? I'd say an eight. Eight? Yeah. Owen? I agree. So, solid yeah. eight. Solid B. Solid eight. Above and average. Mike, what did you grade yourself? C. So <laughs> I'm doing the numbers here, man. Seven. So you're killing me. What do you give him? You want me to I, remind I, you? I trust his It judgment. was the day that he shot 68. Was it? it was amazing. He played golf the day he got married. Did you? Yes. Wow. So it's not that I didn't uncommon. shoot 68, though, because we, <laughs> we played a scramble. You're so funny. We played at Avila. I, I played shortly before my, merit, my yeah. wedding. So what would you give Mike? I trust his judgment. No. You, Seven. You've got to have your own, man. This is, your, this is you. He's afraid he's going to hurt my feelings. So, yeah. He really thinks it's a Kill five. Him. It's okay. You, you can, can be honest. Can it can five? be five. It's cool. We'll go. God, you're brutal. Six and a half. <laughs> yes, I knew it. Pop, what did you That's hear? Okay. What did you think about Mike's? I didn't understand it, <laughs> so, but I'll, I'll give him. I'll give him. A, I'll give him a B. I'll give him a eighty or wow. something or whatever. Eight. Okay. And uh, Owen's joke uh, was the amateur talking to the pro. How can? Why would you want it to spin back if you can only hit a five iron, one hundred and thirty yards? What I like got? that one. Oh, okay, so you give him nine. Thank you so much. Yeah, I'll give you a nine. Wow. That's wow. a lot. See, they always bring in the I'm new guys. It. New guys on it. New guys on it. All right, you guys want to hear a quick story? I want to, we got to see who won. Oh, I thought that was, I thought he won right there. So Owen was Oh, the you're winner. averaging them together. I'm trying. To. We didn't even grade mine yet. You need an abacus over there? <laughs> <laughs> I'm just got to keep too much detail. All right, who won? Hop or, or, or it Owen? Me. It wasn't me. <laughs> Although you guys all laughed with mine, and I got a laugh on the computer in mine. Yeah, yours is. Yours was good. I think yours was the best. Neither Tom, yeah, neither definitely. did Tom. Tom did one, so that's why they don't play together. I gave yours like a five and a half. <laughs> <laughs> I gave you a six, man. That's why I gave All you right. a five and a half. Uh, I saw Hop. No, I, I think Hop's was his was short, sweet. I want her Hop. Yay. Owner Hop. Yeah, Owner Hop. Because the, the the listener has to call him with that name. Yeah, to, uh, to, uh, write in with that well, name. Call it, or, Owen's or, name or Hop's name. Or Owen's, Owen's own or Hop, or you can go to GolfTalkRadio.com. Yeah, Owen or Hop, and we'll give you the prize. Fill out the trivia form, and we'll give you we the got, prize. We got Zitch. You yeah. gave me a five and a half. I was kidding. <laughs> you are a tough dude, man. See, I understood <laughs> yours. I understood Hop's. I didn't understand mine as I was reading it because there was so much back and forth, and I kind of didn't understand Owen's either. And just to show you, I... I but that's all in the listening part. There's a know? golf of the day at every day of the year, right? And this was January 5th. Fourth and sixth. Ah. I just cut and paste. A joke of the day. Right. Joke. Of, yes. What did I say? Golf of the day. <laughs> <laughs> I heard that. Which, if you played with me, it would be kind of a joke of the. <laughs> that be would the be same fun. thing. All right. So, if you want to get, win the prize, a round of golf, um, either at the Black Lake Golf Resort or the Paso Robles Golf Club. And if you're not from the area and you're not going to come to California, we'll send you something. Else. We'll, we will send you something. We'll send you a bill. You got to go to golftalkradio.com and fill out the trivia form with either Owen or Hop. Or if you have a preference of that joke. Yes. Okay, here's one quick story, and we got to take a break. All right, man. This is a true story, by the way. <laughs> every time you start this is that, true. Every time you start that. This is true. So this is really one of your real true stories. This, this is, is true. Fact. I, this is the fact. All right, Here we go. Cool. One day, shortly after joining the PGA Tour in 1965, Lee Trevino, a pres professional golfer and married man, was at his home in Dallas, Texas, mowing his front lawn as he always did. A lady driving by in a big shiny Cadillac stopped in front of his house, lowered the window, and asked, Excuse me, do you speak English? The lady responded, Yes, ma'am, I do. The lady did, then asked, <laughs> What much? do you charge to do yard work? 
Lee said, well, the lady in this house lets me sleep with her. <laughs> and the lady hurriedly put her car into gear oh. and sped off. <laughs> oh. And with that, we'll take our last break. Boom, boom. So stay with you us. You know, that's the perfect answer. Yeah, it is, isn't it? Yes. Golf Talk Radio with Mike and Billy. Be I'm right gonna, back. I'm going to mow his lawn. The same. 